I want to talk about a engineering term called degrees of freedom. Um, if you've taken a physics class, uh, you've probably heard of this. Uh, it also it, it applies to a lot of different engineering uh, topics, especially related to movement. Um, and what it what it means is there's a limited number of directions of movement. And there's essentially six directions of movement that are possible. So uh, the directions of movement are, it's uh, like forward and backwards, left and right, up and down. And then there's rotation about the left and right axis, so like this. There's rotation about the vertical axis, which is um, like that. And then there's rotation about the forward and back axis, axis which is like that. Um, the way that I designed the sharpener was to only lock the degree of freedom that controls the angle of the knife. So you'll notice that I cannot rotate the knife forward or up. It's, it's completely locked in there. To, to do that, you'd break the knife off of the magnet. Um, but there is freedom to move the forward, forward and back, which is required to hit the stone and move along the stone. There's also freedom to move left and right, which allows you to cover the length of the edge. And there's uh, the freedom to move about rotate in the vertical axis. So like if you wanted to, to sharpen at like a, at an angle like this, or if you wanted to turn the knife around for some reason and sharpen like this, that's possible. Um, and so the system gives a ton of flexibility with movement. Uh, it's designed to allow natural movement just like you would if you didn't have this mechanism on there but um, it's also intended to lock the angle in so that you have a very consistent edge that um, becomes razor sharp. And I would say it arguably can get sharper than someone freehanding because ultimately a human is not as accurate as a machine and cannot hold it exactly the way the machine, this machine would, would hold it.